In Singapore, there are entities that roam the island at night, seeking out lonely people on the streets and taking them far away places without remorse. I'm talking about taxi drivers. Welcome to another episode of Incredible Tales. Driving a taxi takes a lot of courage, not just to brave the nasty traffic conditions at the peak hour rush, but also because you never know who your next passenger will be, or whether they are even human. It was a quiet evening. Rushing home for my reunion dinner, I was thinking of the 4D number I just bought my taxi license plate number. I was feeling good about it when I wanted to stop for her. But that would mean missing my reunion dinner. So I decided not to. At first, I thought it was probably my tired mind playing tricks on me. I decided not to pick her up either. And then, how can any human being run faster than a car? I was sure it was the same girl who tried to stop me twice earlier. I felt a chill run up my spine, and I just wanted to get away quickly. Throughout that evening, I was in no mood to celebrate. How could I be so stupid to hit and run? How could I live with that for the rest of my life? Okay, Mr. Tan, you said you hit the girl with your taxi last night, correct? You see, our preliminary investigations show that she didn't die of a car accident. She died of multiple stab wounds. So what, what, what does that mean? We also examined your taxi. There is no evidence that you hit anybody last night at all. No blood stains, no dents, nothing. And the girl, she didn't even die last night. Time of death is estimated to be about three days ago. Mr. Tan. Mr. Tan. A thousand questions went through my mind. If I didn't hit that girl, who did I hit? Another girl? And why wasn't her body found? Nobody could have survived a hit like that. And why didn't the police find evidence of the accident on my taxi? Hello? What? Really? Ah? Aya, we are rich! My taxi number first prize! We can do so much with the money. We can go to university. We can go for holiday in Perth and visit my sister, right? Aya, why the long face? 100,000 not enough, is it? Come, let's go and cash it. <laughs>
Is dinner ready? Yeah, is dinner ready? Have you gone? Ming, are you okay, Ming? When are you coming down to hell? Mm. Ah. What's wrong? I kept having nightmares like this for many nights. Like this? No. My injuries got worse, and the doctors couldn't understand why. So, what did happen to our taxi driver friend? Was he really haunted by a female ghost who refused to leave him alone? Or is there a more scientific and rational explanation? The unconscious mind is very powerful. Some people have this wonderful ability called extended sensory perception, where they're able to notice things other people don't notice. They are able to break what is called a normal timeline. Past, present, future is our normal timeline. But with some people with this ability, they're able to skip into the future and collect information about the future. Thanks for staying with us. Before the break, our taxi driver's condition has started to worsen. Nightmares haunted his sleep. Finally, he had no choice but to pour his heart out to a friend. I think the dead girl is looking for revenge. But why me? I didn't kill her. Maybe she couldn't find the real murderer. Maybe she need to take somebody else's life so she can rest in peace or reincarnate or whatever. And that somebody else is me? You know that 41st price? Think it's payment for your life. Then what should I do? Give it up. Donate everything to charity. Save yourself. But you still can. Soon, I was well enough to go home. But I hadn't told my wife that I had given all my winnings away. See, I also started buying for me like you. Sit down, sit down. I have something to check with you. This is our lucky year. Maybe we strike first or second prize again. Sit. Sit. I gave all our 40 money away. You what? That's the only thing to do. Or my life would be in danger. Are you crazy? $100,000. How are we going to send Meme to the university now? And how are we going to retire? I know, but... You only think of yourself. Wait, Although wait, it caused wait. a lot of unhappiness, I knew deep down that giving the money away was the right thing to do. Then, the unexpected happened. I won! I won! I won! My number really opened. I won first prize. Really? See? You cannot take the money away from me. This time, it's all mine. Where do you get that number from? Who cares? I won. Just tell me. Ayah, there. I bought vegetable and uncle read inside that newspaper. I'm going to tell Mrs. Lim and all my mahjong kakis. From that day on, 
strange things began to happen again. But this time, they didn't happen to me. Are you okay? Why are you wearing this kind of clothes? And why is your hair like this? Where are you going? Thank you. Kyo, what are you doing? Kyo, what are you doing? Stop, Kyo. Kyo. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Nice. nice to see all of you here. So nice. Finally, we gave the second set of winnings away. My wife returned to normal again. She couldn't remember what had happened to her. I didn't have the heart to tell her that she was almost killed by a ghost who gave her money in exchange for her life. We never bought another 4D number again. As for the girl, whoever she was and wherever she is, I hope we'll never see her again. So did this story really happen? One explanation is that the taxi driver has extrasensory perception, or ESP. His encounters with a dead girl would have been tangents off the normal timeline. He would have gone back into the past three days previously and saw the death of the girl and the exact location of her dead body. The rest of his ghostly encounters can be due to an overactive imagination. In our industry, you hear lots of this ghost story. And uh, some of it, I very much believe in it. Some of it, I would have said that they add some extra into it rather. Uh, personally, I believe that there is such thing as probably as ghosts that do exist. Perhaps the spirit of the dead girl did come to haunt his wife. Or perhaps his wife, like him, also had ESP powers and was able to subconsciously pick up on the dressing and makeup habits of the dead girl. The mind is a far more powerful and mysterious force than we give credit for. Our next story illustrates this point perfectly. Aya. Mm. I tell you, uh, he never cleaned the house. Aya. No payment for six months. Chinatown. What time is it? Two fifteen. What's today's date? Date? Third September. What year? What year? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's the year of the horse or the goat. I thought old people knew these things. 
I don't recognize these places. <laughs> you don't come out a lot, do you? <clears throat> Sorry. Things changed so fast. It seems like yesterday, my daughter was still wearing pampers. A few months ago, she graduated from university. Clever girl. Thanks. She got it from the side of my family, you know. I know. My son, good for nothing. Whole day just to play the stupid guitar. Homework doesn't want to do. Always chang, 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 chang. That's from your wife's side of the family. <laughs> yeah, how do you know? Is Xiaowen still playing the Gu Zhen? She used to play it very well. <laughs> she hasn't opened a box for many... How do you know about my wife? Who are you? I'll do anything you want. Anything. Drive me home. The theme of dead loved ones returning to the land of the living recurs often in stories about ghosts. Is there perhaps some unconscious longing for contact with departed friends and relatives that give rise to these accounts? You asked me earlier if it's possible for the other side to contact you. I'm a scientist. I only know what happens on this side. Uh, I'm sure there's scientists on the other side working on the problem as well. But uh, as far as the two connecting uh, together, the difficulty comes when we try to explain away things with using other than rational explanations. We want, there's a part of us that wants to believe that we are forever, that we go beyond this mere 70, 80 years. So as a result, we want to imagine that there is another side. So we have entire cultures built up on this, entire legends built up on this. And so we believe that the other side is talking to us. We cannot believe that everything comes to a dead halt as soon as we die. Welcome back. Before the break, the taxi driver in our story met an old friend whom he thought had died 20 years ago. Did he meet a long lost friend or just the spirit of that friend? I thought you died 20 years ago. W w what are you doing here? Turn right. We were good friends. Where were you when I died? I thought you sailed overseas, doing business in Indonesia. They found my body four days after I died. Did you know? But I only found out that you died many months later. I saw you get married. I paid for your wedding ceremony. Where were you when I died? I really don't know where you were. I swear. I had no money. I had no friends. I was all alone. I didn't even have a proper funeral. For 20 years, I roam this earth, looking and waiting for you. I'm sorry. Please believe me. I'm really sorry. What do you want me to do, my friend? Help me rest in peace. Find me a priest who will show me the way out of my misery. Priests are expensive. I have no money. Yes, you do. It's true. My bank account is empty. All my earnings are used up every month. You will help me. Remember, four, six, seven, eight. Four, six, seven, eight? When you get the money, don't forget to help me. What is four, six, seven, eight? What? Seven, eight. 
It's my number. Huh? It's my number. Hey. Chan, <laughs> lucky are you? A rich man already, man. Don't forget your friend, you know. Where do you get a number? I also want to know. Huh? <laughs> Boss, everything is done. Thank you, my friend. Now you can go in peace. If the mind had a driver in our first story, could transcend time and sense things, was it also possible for the driver in this story to have had some kind of similar experience? Did he pick up passenger? Did he imagine himself picking up passenger? Then, of course, the friend appears, and he starts to talk to his friend. Are you here to haunt me, or are you here to do so and so? So he has a conversation with his friend, but it could be the mind talking to itself. We call it a gestalt. He broke this down from a complete gestalt into individual parts. So one part of his mind talking to another part of his mind that was unsettled uh, or needed some form of closure. And so as a result, started to talk to this individual and started to find uh, a way to put this individual at rest. So if the driver's mind made up the entire encounter with his friend, then his winning the lottery can only be described as a huge coincidence. Or perhaps he also went ahead in time to obtain the 4D number? Believable? It's all up to you. You probably would have seen a lot of uh, sitting in a lot of cab whereby they have some ornament in it, the statue of the Buddha and things like that. Different, different kind of ornament. Uh, most of us believe that that actually protect us from the evil, from certain things that we try not to face with, like ghosts or whatever. That's our show for tonight. Until we meet again next week, remember, the next time you're in a taxi, don't be surprised if the driver gives you a strange look. You may be wondering if you're human or something from beyond. My name's Hut. Good night. Corp Studios production for Channel 5.